Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a, well, well, I am going to do a makeup tutorial. And I know that it was quite some time since I did a makeup tutorial. I think it was, when was it? Like two weeks before Christmas or something? I am, it, it was a long time ago, but the plan is that I will do like I said before, two videos a week, and one of the videos will be a makeup tutorial, so now you know. So yeah, today I will show you uh, this look, obviously, <laughs> and this is, I think, I think a lot of you have seen it if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, it is fluke of makeup, but I think a lot of you have seen it on Instagram and Snapchat, Snapchat is also fluke of makeup if you want to add me. <laughs> And I actually had a lot of requests from people on Snapchat that they wanted to see me do this look. So I obviously had to do it. <laughs> so I'm just going to stop talking and let's get into the video. So before we do anything, I just want to apologize in advance for my ratchet ass tan on my hands. The day before was my exfoliating day, but I clearly missed it. But uh, yeah, let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to moisturize my lips with this lip balm from NUX, I think it's pronounced. And then we are, as usual, putting on some primer and I will use my oh-so-beloved Smashbox Photo Finish Primer for the step. So next up is foundation and today I will be mixing the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 230 and the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Sand. I always love to look dewy but in some weird way my skin goes crazy during winter and I don't get dry like most people would. I kind of get super oily instead so yeah that, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Anyways, that's why I mix the matte and poreless one into every single foundation I use because it keeps the foundation matte all day. Then I always go in with my favorite full coverage concealer, the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35, I do believe. So now I will finally get to cream contour again. Uh, I have been using the Estee Lauder Double Wear for a couple of days now and as you could tell in my first impression video, it didn't go very well with this foundation at all. I have been using the Milani Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in Spiced Almond for my cream contour now for about 5 months and I love it to death. Like, what can I say? I love it so much. Next we're going in with some highlighting concealer and today I will be using the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes, on the sides of my nose, underneath my cheek contour, chin and between my brows. I then blend it all out with the same damp beauty blender. I just bake the same areas where I applied the Urban Decay Concealer with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm also baking with the same Beauty Blender. I then set the rest of my face with this NYX Refine and Define Foundation Powder. I have already bought a new one because I just hit pan on this one but oh my god, I love this so much. And it's also super affordable, so that is a huge plus. Next, we're going to sing a little bit, apparently. Um, and then I will be contouring my face with my favorite contour kit, also by NYX. And you can buy refills to this one in certain countries, I believe. But if you live in Scandinavia, like myself, you will unfortunately have to buy a brand new palette to get refills, uh, which I've done now three times because I love the contour shades in this one. It's so good. So I just did my eyebrows off camera 
cam but I will leave a link to the video on how I do my eyebrows in my info box if you want to check that one out. So now I will just use my homemade rose water setting spray to set my face but also to roll my face with a beauty blender to remove any excess powder. This method is so good if you want to lay down your tiny little peach fuzz hairs <laughs> but it also kind of blends all the different powders together for a more quote unquote natural result. For highlighter today I will start off by laying down some strobe cream you could kind of say onto my cheeks and I will use the MAC cream color base in pearl mixed with some shimmery jojoba oil that I kind of made that I kind of made myself but it's just it's simply just oil and highlighter powder and I will apply all of this with a synthetic brush from Real Techniques and then blend it in with a beauty blender Next, I will use Max Whisper of Guilt that I got in this year's Christmas collection Nutcracker Sweets from MAC and I will use a fan brush to apply it with. Then I will go into my go-to blush from Milani and this is the baked blush in the shade Berry Amore. I rarely use up any blushes at all, but I will soon have to get a new one. And yes, I will use a second highlighter because there is no such thing as too much highlighter in my opinion. I'm sure you've all seen this one at least a thousand times on social media, but this is the Sleek Solstice palette if you don't already know. And it's just another ride or die product that I always use on top of the first highlighter. Oh my god, I need help! <laughs> so now we are moving on to the eyes. And for today's eye primer, I will use a paint pot from MAC, but this one is in the shade Painterly. I usually use Soft Ochre, but this one works just as good for me. So now I will dig into one of my custom palettes. And the first shade that I will use on my lids is the shadow by NYX in the shade Lap Dance and this will be my transition shade today. Next, I will use a shadow from Makeup Geek in the shade uh, Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. <laughs> god i can't take that shadow name serious anymore it's not happening anyways i will apply this one with a mac 217 brush into my crease Left. then i will go in with another shadow from makeup kick in the shade coco bear and this will just further deepen up the crease for some drama and i'm using the same mac blending brush for this Then to smooth the edges out and to blend it all in a bit more, I will use the same NYX Lap Dance shadow again. Seriously, this shadow is highly underestimated, you guys. It works with every single look I do. I love it so much. And then to make this look a bit less pinkish, I will mix Poppy and Chickadee, also from Makeup Geek, into my crease with a Soeva 227 brush. <laughs> And as for my bottom lash row, I will just mix Poppy and Coco Bear and apply it with a Real Techniques shading brush. Next, I will spritz some Fix Plus onto a Soeva Luxe Smoky Shader Brush, Jesus Christ these names, and then apply some Starry Eyed Eyeshadow, also from Makeup Geek, onto my lids and also in the corners of my eyes. Now this shadow is a foiled shadow and it's very creamy, so if you get any fallouts, don't be scared, it's totally normal and just, just take a fan brush or any other flimsy kind of brush and just gently wipe it off when you're done. Now, 
Next, I will use my go-to anti-cry, anti-smudge kind of eyeliner. And if you have a problem with eyeliners that transfer and goes everywhere, then I highly, highly recommend this one. This is a gel eyeliner from MAC in the shade Black Track, and it is everything. I mean, if you're single, you should definitely wear this for Valentine's Day. I'm just saying. And then I just smudged the eyeliner out a bit down my lower lash line with the same shading brush that I used before. I will then create some dramatic eyeliner wings because if someone decides to come for me, I will cut you! I will cut you! No, but all jokes aside, I love my wings. It just completes any eye look, I think. And today I'm using the Balm's Schwing eyeliner. And then I just prep my lashes for mascara and fake eyelashes by curling them. I honestly do not know what I was doing with my life before I started to curl my lashes. I will then use two different mascaras, one for my upper lashes and one for my bottom lashes. I know I'm extra, don't come for me. And for my upper lashes, I will use MAC's Insta Curl Mascara. And for my bottom ones, I will use... <sighs> Maybelline's Colossal Spider Effect Mascara. Jesus Christ, these long names. Next, I will apply some lashes from eBay and I will leave a link to these ones down below if anyone wants to check them out. And I just simply squeeze them together with my own lashes to make it all look very, very natural. Then I will apply MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil as my base for my liquid lipstick. And as for my liquid lipstick, I will use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one in the shade Crush. However, I do also love Max Velvet Teddy so much, but the ABH one is much more long wearing. And that's it! And this is the finished look. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I know that it was a long time since I sat down and did a makeup tutorial. So yeah, this is my go-to event, go-to parties, go-to stuff look. I always remember it. I remember all the steps. It's very quick. It's very easy for me at least. And it also kind of matches my hair with all of these rosy tones and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Now I'm on the outside.